I thought of making a super quick video to show how to get started in Mozilla Hubs. It's super easy. The moment that you go into hubs.mozilla.com, you're gonna be faced with a page like this. You can create your own account, of course, uh, and or you can also access a room directly with a room code that you have received uh, previously, like here. Uh, but in this case, when you are from desktop, you might very well uh, and very often just receive uh, a link that you can just click. Once you click on it, you basically enter into the lobby. That's the moment that you're gonna start um, basically uh, entering inside the room and you can pick your own avatar. You can pick the avatar, uh, write your own name in it, uh, and there are a lot of uh, avatars options that you can pick from. Once you're here, in this case, you're gonna decide just to enter on screen. Um, here you also have the option uh, to basically uh, pick the microphone uh, input that you want as well as enter uh, with uh, your microphone muted. You enter and one thing that first you have to remember is please, please from desktop always remember to have earphones. This just leads to a better experience for everyone. And the basic control are very easy. So you can just uh, look by uh, using your left mouse click and move backward forward backward with w and s and left and right with a and d now you can move forward and then to move faster you can just hold the shift button while you move that's it and now sprint till the end but movement with uh, your the wasd is not the only one uh, you can also for example teleport and to teleport you can just click the right mouse, bu mouse button and you can just go to different location. Another way is that the creator of the room might have introduced some that are called waypoints that you can trigger by, uh, that you can highlight pushing the space bar. You look at the space bar and then that's the moment that you can pick between the different waypoints uh, that are uh, might be available in your scene. And here it is, in some case, it might also allow you to scale, become bigger, according to how the creator of the room uh, set up, set, the, set those up. Then let's go back to this uh, other platform and let's talk about more interesting stuff, like for example, moving object. Now this is a spawner. A spawner basically is also created by the um, um, creator of the room and allow you to grab object and to reappear there. Um, object can be moved in different way. You can move left, right, forward, and the object moves with you. As well as while you hold the left mouse button, you can also use the um, mouse wheel to move it further or closer to you. Now, let's try to put this U closer and finish this uh, hub sign. So we're gonna move it there and then move it uh, in this case. Yeah, more or less about there. Space button on an object also open its contextual menu. That means that then you are able to, for example, rotate it. Here we go, in a different direction and scale it. In this case, we certainly need to scale this U to make it a bit more uh, on size. Now, are we still close enough? Let me use my mouse wheel and yes, I think we are more or less there. Now, this is just the beginning because here, for example, it's another spawner. Uh, and let's create a little scene with uh, to show you that take advantage of some of the abilities, some of the uh, features that allow you to import objects and items inside the scene. In this case, you can drag. So here we have another spawner. As we said, we scale it a little, and then we will be able to position it a bit further away, something like this. But you can also, uh, for example, import object from different database. Uh, for example, clicking on top on the um, on the magic wand, you can just access Google Poly, Sketchfab, and many more. In this case, let's say that uh, we're gonna pick, for example, this. You have it, click on it, and then, like the other, you can move it, there we go, and position it, mm, maybe something like that. Mm, no, a bit farther away. That's it. And this is not the only option because what you can do is that, for example, you can also uh, take a link of a video, for example, like this one, copy, you put, 
put it in the in the bar that is at the bottom and push the magic wand. This will automatically create basically a YouTube video and import it into the scene. In this case, let's do a little bit of magnification here. And here you go, this looks good. Uh, and the same also can be done, for example, uh, with, um, um, with images. So in this case, if, for example, you have a, a PNG image, let's say I wanna pick uh, this one, copy image address, and then you can put it again here at the bottom, push the magic wand, and here we go. Let's put it like this. Lastly, what you can also do is that you can add comment. Uh, in this case, it's uh, just super easy. They are act a bit like sticky notes. And here we go. Rather big. That's more or less it. The last thing that you can do uh, is um, uh, import, for example, uh, share your screen here. So you can share this screen inside the room itself, like this. But also have, for example, the camera in. And in this case, once you import the camera, you can also take some amazing picture of the scene that you just created, like this one. A little countdown starts and you are done. The image is going to appear and then you are going to be able to share it and tweet it. And that's it. So this is a very quick tutorial to get you started with Mozilla Hubs to give a glimpse of some of the creative opportunities that you can unleash uh, now and share with your friends, collaborators or just for fun. I hope this was useful and uh, let me know how your Star Wars scene or not is going to look like. Bye bye.